couple weeks ago. I said I wasn't going to buy any more for the month, but I did it again. I couldn't pass it up, and now I have regret. I'm excited, but there's some regret. Ugh. But they're really good records. Really good records. I've, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got 12 cubes of bootleg, rec bootleg records over there, which I'm going to sell to help finance the purchases of some of these really cool records. Um, I've collected bootlegs forever. I'm gonna keep my top ones that I've always loved, but I have so much I don't listen to. I'm not into it anymore. I, I like other things. I've kind of moved on. All my bootlegs are on my NAS server, so I could stream them on my iPhone, at work, anywhere. So I have them. I'm fine with a digital copy of that. But I don't need the vinyl, especially if it will finance the purchase of some really cool stuff like this. First one I got, super rare, super rare. It's so cool. July. Look at that cover. This is the US 1968 stereo pressing of July. They are a UK band from London. They're kind of like a blend of psychedelic rock and psychedelic pop. I don't really like psych pop too much and like psych rock, psych blues. They're kind of like the zombies, but better, but they didn't become famous. Not that many people have heard of these. Um, the UK version is really rare. Um, I'll never have a UK version. I don't need a UK version. I have two reissues of this. So anyone want to reissue? Um, the first track, The Clown, I like that track. It's fun. It's whimsical. It's kind of like Sid Barrett's Pink Floyd from Piper at the Gates of Dawn, the whimsical part of it. Um, it it's a lot of that. It's like Tomorrow with Twink and the Soft Machine. But the more, the less psychedelic Soft Machine, the more um, poppy Kevin Ayers type thing. July, it's, oh, it's great. This next one has been my want list for over 20 years. July, probably five years. But this one um, is PAX. PAX is a Peruvian psychedelic rock, prog, some say proto metal band. Look at that cover. And it's a gateful. Peruvian records are known to have the crappiest covers. They take so bad care of their records. Um, I've had this 20 years ago and it wasn't in this good a condition. I think I sold it for $300 and I've regretted that ever since. It's so cool. The album name, May God in Your Will Land You and the Soul Miles Away from Evil. This is 1972. I have like one of their singles, which is a cover of Gold, Golden Earrings, Radar Love. And it's good, it's, it's in the jukebox. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, some people say it's, this is like kind of Hendrix, Sabbath, and Led Zeppelin kind of mix. They took what was going on and did their own thing. Um, this is, one of the most influential albums in all of Peru's rock and roll. Pax. Oh. The music's great. The vinyl's good. But this cover is in such good condition. You just don't see them in this good a condition. They're so bad with their covers. Their VG Plus is my G or G Plus. Pax and July, two grails that are oh, on the same day. 
Um, I'm not going to get any more the rest of the month. I promise my wife this. Um, oh, these were expensive. But they're so cool. I uh, and the music of July is incredible. The music for PAX is really good, but this cover is so great. I'm happy to have them. Happy to move on and move to the next, which for Peruvian, it's Ligonias, etc. I never had that cover. That cover's amazing. Um, but for now, July and PAX will have to do.